Alright, hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, I'm gonna enter a competition this summer. In, uh, I'm gonna be building a custom Nightingale. I'm not gonna build uh, Nightingale itself. I'm gonna build uh, something different. And uh, right now, I just received two packages right here. Uh, one from Hobby Wave, and the other one right here is uh, a bag of uh, metal parts uh, for the Nightingale. It's my first time ordering uh, metal parts, so we'll see what it looks like. Here, uh, maybe it's too dark, but whatever. I prepared uh, all the pieces uh, for the legs, and uh, here. I painted uh, uh, these parts right here yesterday I'm gonna paint the rest of them today uh, but uh, right now I must admit that it's uh, it's all over the place I have uh, pieces everywhere different different pieces of the kit all over the place so as you can see here uh, here I have uh, all the pieces uh, they're all uh, ready to uh, paint. Not all, of the, not all of them, but uh, as you can see here, I did some modification. I made this part uh, shorter. I just cut it, and uh, I used uh, epoxy to make it shorter. Uh, as you can see, I'm a bit all over the place. Here are the, the fuel tanks for the back. Uh, this part which is very big uh, I'll have to do some panel lines here I did modify like a, where is it uh, yeah these I don't know if you can see it let me focus but I did some panel lines here so I did some modifications and uh, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting Okay, so the first package from Hobby Wave. Uh, as you can see, I got some paint here. Uh, nothing too fancy. Uh, I got some pink. This is, uh, I don't remember what it is. Uh, yes, yeah, semi gloss black. Uh, some brown. Is it brown? No, all red. This is a, like a really, really dark red. Uh, some flat. Uh, Clear uh, flesh. This is a uh, flesh color. This is uh, some clear yellow. I got some putty. Apparently, this one is uh, uh, thinner than the uh, regular putty. Here inside, all right. I got some uh, some metal primer. This is the, the the main reason why I placed an order. Uh, this stuff is clear, transparent. Well, you can see it's. Uh, it's not as clear as water, but uh, this goes on top of, uh, you put this on metal and uh, it acts as a primer and it will not ruin the finish of the metal. It's not like a, it's not like a gray or white primer, it's a transparent and uh, then when you use this then you can just paint on top of the, of the metal and the paint will stick. I got this because of the metal parts right there. Then I also got this. Uh, I'm gonna try it out. This is uh, like weathering color. Jeez, there's lots of dust on top of that. Then uh, these two are just like uh, some primer here, more primer. And uh, in here, what's this? Uh, oh, yeah, copper metallic paint. So there you go. You know what's funny? Uh, the lid here. Is broken and uh, I'll have to repair it but uh, thank God I'm a modeler and I have some Mr. Cement. Uh, I tried and it, uh, it doesn't work. Shit. Okay so uh, this is the pièce de résistance. So, uh, come on. Alright. So, there we go. Uh, let's see what's inside. Right. Just bags and uh, oh, there seems to be some kind of poster. Maybe that's the instruction manual. Uh, here's the bag. So this is what it looks like. Uh, 
got a bunch of uh, small bags with a bunch of uh, pieces. If you guys uh, want to know more about uh, everything here, just ask me questions and uh, I'll answer them. Uh, the one thing I don't like though is that the uh, LED that comes with it, uh, it works. It comes with batteries uh, inside, but uh, it's it's cheap. Like uh, you can feel the plastic is uh, is cheap, and uh, it's not it's not a Bandai LED, uh, but uh, it works and it comes with batteries. So uh, that's that's good for me. So there you go, guys. Uh, I'll post more videos of uh, my custom Nightingale soon. So, uh, see you guys.